what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review today we're going to take a look at the exclusive edition of aragorn battle of the helms deep that doesn't sound right from asmus and if you want to order this figure head over to bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below they offer four dollar shipping and they double box your figure plus you can use pile of loot if you have multiple orders so uh, go ahead and check them out they they sell a bunch of 1.6 collectibles and also 112 everything that you're looking for is in uh um big bad toy store so definitely uh check them out and this is what it came with it comes with a box and i don't really know what this peg is for it was included inside the box so if you guys know let me know in the comments um it comes in separate pieces so this is the figure itself so if you buy one for 195 it's an option you don't need to get the exclusive edition which has the uh, diorama base the diorama is interesting because it doesn't really have a box it only has a sleeve with a lot of foams in it now mind you this piece right here is heavy it's like five or six pounds combined um really intricate and um it just feels quality i don't know if they needed to do that honestly uh, so basically for an extra what $85 you would get this piece and I'm a sucker myself for uh, diorama pieces there's very few in the 1.6 scale I mean there's a bunch in 112 but it does help out in in photography and your display options now you might not use them because they're huge um, and you can see those those metallic um, helmets right there and it comes with a separate head sculpt as well if you get the the um the exclusive edition you get an extra head sculpt uh you get some screw and some pieces for this um like pillar that you're gonna get um and then the stand looks great you know it's not this, those generic um uh, grabber that you see but it's nice it is nice and like i said it is heavy the paint application is well done so it comes in three separate pieces that you can screw them together. Um, again, they're quite heavy. And I'm going to show you how they look like when they are displayed in the um, um, in the detail. Because you it might not fit in there. You know, it depends on exactly what you're going to get. So, and this is the uh, 195 version, sort of. If you just opt to get this, which is highly acceptable, the price is decent, honestly. For for 195, it's very rare now that you see, uh, especially if you, you just just collect hot toys, that you would get something under 200. Normally, you would get that from a stormtrooper or something like that. But this is Aragorn, which is you know a main character, so it is. Uh, like I said, it's uncharacteristics that we get some somebody like we, with this a marquee name i mean they just released faramir for 210 dollars. so i don't really know what comes into the uh i guess pricing but and he comes with with a lot of with not a lot with decent accessories as well you know he comes with the even star uh his his dagger his sword and you can see the hands right here. Nice effects. Um, there's, I guess they're supposed to be dried blood. However, they... I don't know. They came out as like he ate some shrimps and got some allergies. That's how it kind of like... I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it could have been better. Like one of those parts like in the thumb. Initially, I thought I was like, oh, this is not painted right. Or I scratched it up. I haven't even touched it. But yeah i mean there's like a ring right there it, it it looks decent it looks nice i mean i like the fact that the wrist is all the way up there you know because it, it would cover the peg that's a good touch right there because typically they kind of cut off you know um easily but yeah they, they look good i just i'm not a big fan of the effect though i'm not a big fan of the effect um this is the dagger that he does have beautiful details a lot of uh, this is die cast as well so that's nice um it's uh you know look the markings in there the the effects of the wooden handle it looks good you know i've, I've been waiting for this this is the elven dagger i've been ready waiting for this really for this this particular figure for a while now because he's the only one missing 
uh, from my fellowship and that's kind of pointy and this is the um, sword that he does have which is the ranger sword looks beautiful again this is die cast so it here's the problem with this die cast and you, you would see this later on when I post them they're a bit heavy and the peg that they used is not really top notch it's kind of smaller so the wrist tends to go down because of the weight of the sword you know I'm all about having die cast but let's not sacrifice possibility in that. I mean, if they could have made a die cast, which is a little bit lighter, um, like the one that I have with uh, Snake Eyes from Hot Toys, that would have been better. And this is his scabbard, which is pretty good. Mine does have like a little tear on it. And this is made out of rubber. Uh, looks pretty well done as well. And this is stand, the generic stand that they've been using for years, Lord of the Rings. It does work. Now let's head over to the exclusive edition, which is this is nice again i'm a sucker for these exclusive editions like i mentioned earlier so i'm all for this one uh you can see there's uneven surfaces in here which really replicates you know like the cement that they used and they didn't this is a bonus feature that they added this helmet i forgot the name of the guy that he was running towards uh, he's an orokai whatever his name is um, it has a pillar diorama, diorama and a, yeah, the Berserker Orokai metallic helmet. This is made out of die cast and you can see the hand of uh, Sauron in there. So it's a nice piece that they included. They didn't have to. I was sold just for the pillar itself because like I said, there's very few diorama pieces for one sixth and you can use this pillar for multiple things. You know, you can put Mandalorian in there and kind of like hiding from the corner if you're doing photography. So for an extra $80, again, this is not bad. And you get an extra head sculpt. And the thing is, this is kind of like wobbly. So you have to screw them from the back, which I did. And it's still kind of wobbly. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to fall off or anything. I like the fact that they uh, kind of broke it down to three pieces, really. So the base the uh bottom pillar and the top pillar so you can still display this on your uh, detolf and i would show you guys that later and you can see the torch in here i wish it was a little bit down a little bit more you know it's kind of leaning forward a lot on the movies but it's fine you know there's nothing wrong with it that's just a little nitpick you know that's what we do <laughs> it's fine you know forget what i just said uh but yeah, it's, it's leaning forward, um, I wish a little, a little bit more, but there's designs in here. You got to push it a little bit more, as you can see there. I left some gaps, but you could actually push this forward a lot more. So I just want to show you the, the, the how it looks like. There's a lot of details in it. I like the uneven surface, like I said. And this top portion, you can take them out and it would fit your detail. Um, I would be a little careful though, as I, and I would mention that later on in this video. But as far as the casting, it, it it's nice. Like I said, it, it is really nice. You know, I'm all about diorama pieces, guys. Like, dude, if, you, if this is 280, uh, 275, which is, you know, it's expensive at first glance because it's Asmus. We're not used to Asmus having those. Uh, but you get a lot if you buy the exclusive edition. You see those holes right there. That's where you're supposed to put those screws that is provided by them, um, which, is, which is great. And this is my... Uh, weighing scale and as you can see this is the entire pieces with three pillars no helmet though over five pounds that's that's a bit heavy especially if you're going to put it on a, on a detolf so that's going to put a lot of stress in it I'm, i mean i'm i'm glad that it feels like a statue it's resin and all that stuff i think they could have gotten away with plastic so it's a little bit lighter and uh maybe deduct the cost a little bit if this was like 250 and this was made out of plastic and i removed the top pillar and now it's 4.5 pounds still a little bit heavy honestly and you can take out the middle pillar if you just want the steps and it's like 3.5 pounds 3.4 so you know you can have different configurations however you want to so that's the beautiful thing about this uh you got that little um thing right there but you know it could be like a stone or whatever and as far as the figure itself, looking Asmus has been great ever since when it comes to tailoring. I have no complaints about their body as well. Uh, their tailoring is top notch. I like this chainmail that they now do. Uh, a lot, a huge improvement from their previous one, like Gimli and Aomir. That huge improvement. 
Um, I like the fact that how it looks, how it drapes down as well. And the pleather material that they use, like kind of like, I don't even know it's pleather um, on his vest right there. It, it light, It's light. I don't think it's going to peel off. It has that rugged look. And as you can see there in his uh, gauntlet, a lot of details on it. Uh, this is made out of rubber. I wish it was a little bit more scratched up or, you know, all that stuff, but it's all right. Uh, the boots, it doesn't have ankle articulation, as you can see. It's, it's an entire piece. Um, even if there is a peg in there, I mean, you can't move. I wish they would have made it two separate pieces, but it's not. It's all right. Uh, weathering on the boots is fantastic. Again, when it comes to tailoring, Asmus is up there, as you know. Uh, I've had, I don't know, like 25 Asmus figures now because I do love Lord of the Rings. Uh, and it looks good. Look at this ragged look right here. This is right off the box. Um, it has the, you know, those torn pieces and all that stuff. I, nothing, well, you know, I can't, I can't be the bearer of having pleather issues because I haven't had any even Catwoman or anything from Hot Soy. So this could very well, you know, peel. I highly doubt it because the material is so thin and so soft. So, and as far as the head sculpt, so this is the best head sculpt I would say that would resemble the uh, side look because the side eye is the one that you're going to get if you only purchase it for $195. So I'm going to focus on that first. And this is the one that I've, you know, kind of have here. And uh, yeah, throughout the years, this is kind of like what Asmus have struggled. And this release is no different. They actually released the prototype like a few months back there was an outrage and asmus is a great company though when it comes to listening to their fans they made some improvements um and this is what we got now this is the the battle damage version which he has some blood on his face a lot better than the initial one that they uh they announced so that is a beautiful thing about asmus is they listen they actually do listen to their fans making some improvements now re regardless if it's uh a huge improvement or not they listen that's one thing that i would give them credit for now with that being said this is not even this is not an eight um is this better than their previous releases by a bit i think they improved on you know paint applications i'm not a big fan of that gap on the hair because it feels like the hair is removable you know kind of like with king theoden but it's not the hair is soft uh, you can move them around. You can see the details inside of the face. Uh, they, they have some room for improvement, definitely, when it comes to head sculpt. Now, I'm a little bit more lenient to them because they're Asmus and the price range that they do have. So you, uh, this is the uh, like the exclusive edition, eyes looking forward. So some of you might ask, I, I was hard on Hot Toys on their Tony Stark head sculpt. How come I'm giving them a pass? Well, because they're Asmus and the price range is different. You know, we we talked about this before. If Michael Jordan comes down with eight points, you know, the press is going to come down hard on him saying that he's old, he needs to retire and all that. If, uh, you know, Sean Marion scores eight points, no one would bat an eye, you know. So, a huge difference. What I'm trying to say here is Hot Toys is Michael Jordan. So, our expectations are higher. Um, Asmus, we all know, they're, I, I don't even know if they're second right now. I would put 3-0 a second. So they're third tier, plus their price kind of reflects it. Um, at 190, you know, you got to expect 190 kind of figure. And that's, and, and again, that's what they've been producing so far from their line. I've been, uh, the one that is Hot Toy-esque quality would be Gimli, um, Thorin. You can make an argument for Elrond, which is, I'm, I'm not, the head sculpt definitely is an improvement, but yeah, overall the neck, I can still got some problems with it, but this is the difference between the exclusive and the non-exclusive. Basically the scratch on the face and the one looking sideways. I don't know, guys, you tell me, I think they're the same. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're the same head sculpt. Maybe if there's a difference, it's really tiny that to a point that it's almost unnoticeable. So maybe he, he has some, you know, wrinkles on the other side of his face. I don't know. So if you are going to buy the exclusive for the head sculpt, don't. Buy it for the pillar. The head sculpt is n not noticeable, I, I would say. 
So good range of movement here overall for this figure. You know, you can put the arms on the side. There's some bicep swivel. None of his uh, clothing does restrict him. That's the beautiful part about this figure. You can bend the elbows really tight. Uh, there's some ab crunch in here. Well, if you really force him to do so, you know, you could, as you can see there, you can do some bend. The neck, uh, completely movable. The legs, no problem whatsoever because his pants, the uh, fabric that they used, uh, you can bend his legs right there. So, you know, like some companies can take a note on their tailoring. Uh, you know, as, as I told you guys earlier, there's some ankle movement, but not so much. It's, it's a one-piece boot, you know, bicep swivel and all that good stuff. No problems whatsoever as far as posing uh, outside of the ankle articulation there. But, And this is how he would look like if you pose him in your detolf. So you can take out the top pillar because unless you make some modifications where you you know, you know move the shelf off, you're not going to get the entire pillar inside uh, a detolf. So what you could do is you can get this helmet and cover up that piece that would stick out. And, you know, it still looks good. I would still be a little afraid though, because as you can tell earlier, without the helmet, which is also die cast, this is around 4.5 pounds, excluding the figure. So, and then, you know, I'm, I don't know the exact specification of Detolf. You can put in the comments down below if they, it can handle around six, seven pounds. Maybe it could, uh, but I haven't done so. All I've put in there are like one six scale figures. So I'll be a little afraid. That's all I'm saying here. But, Feel free to do so. Just going to show you that it, it is possible. Now, I'll put him in a few poses before we wrap this thing up. I'm happy. You know, I'm extremely happy with this release. Now, I'm a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. So, this is a must-have for me. He's the only one missing from my fellowship. And you might view this differently than I do. You know, some people buy... We, we all have our fandom. Now, if I take out my rose colored glasses in here this is a figure that has a huge problem with a face uh with a head sculpt and that sword as you can see there i, I don't know you, you won't be able to because i kind of braced his wrist peg with the, with the uh um some stuff there but yeah it, it's a bit of a problem when it comes to that um die cast sword but you know it's okay there's a lot of good things with this figure as well, especially if you get the deluxe version. I'm a huge fan of all these accessories. I like the pillar. You know, I like this torch that he does have. It's outside of the head sculpt. I have no complaints. I, I'm not even complaining about the head sculpt because I knew what I was getting myself into when I purchased the figure. That is the biggest difference between this and 85 is we were not blindsided. This is the case where if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. You know, because they're not tricking anyone. This is the head sculpt that we pre-ordered, and this is what we're getting. Now, does it look like Vigo? No. Uh, Prime One, who's really good at statues, didn't even get Vigo's head sculpt right. And I'm not giving, um, you know, I'm not making excuses here for Asmus because they have a track record of not exactly nailing the portrait of the actors. But lately, they've been good. They've been good with the uh, Galadriel that they have. Uh, I really like Elrond. I think they have they made a huge leap to Elrond. And, um, you know, with this one, I have to have him. Now, if you're not a huge Lord of the Rings fan, I can understand. Um, you can say what you want. I'm not one of those guys who's going to defend anyone. I, Me, personally, I got to have it. Now, it all depends if you're a huge Lord of the Rings fan. As you can see, this is my my trio right here. And with, with Frodo, I'm done. This is all I wanted. If if Asmus releases Sauron, then I'm I'm in, you know, or Lurts. But there you go, guys. So this is Aragorn. I'm pretty much I would say done with with Asmus at this point because not because of you know their the quality of work. I love them as a company. The best one six company out there. Uh in terms of connecting with fans. Bar none. Um, quality might not be the same as Hot Toys, but I love them as a company. So sometimes I support a company even though they don't exactly, uh, you know, produce high quality head sculpts. If somebody makes, if Max Nut makes this Aragorn head sculpt and it's spot on, this would be a perfect figure because the outfit is okay. The outfit is great. Everything else but the head sculpt, but I can forgive that. 
I really could. You know, they, they make up for their great customer service. Uh, the best when it comes to, like I said, 1.6 connecting with fans. Not even close with Hot Toys. Not even close. So it, it is up to you. If you can get over the fact that this is not a perfect head sculpt, it might be a 7. Some people might call it a 6, and I would even say that's fair. Um, it's fine. You know, like, I have to have this. The last Aragorn, the slim version, was four years ago. If I'm going to wait for the perfect Aragorn, I don't want to wait another four years. And they pretty much hold their value up in on the secondary market. So it is totally up to you. If you, on a practical side, some people might say, hey, I'd rather add $50 to get a hot toy. That is totally acceptable as well. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to that channel if you haven't done so. Like this video if you uh, find this helpful. And uh, uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. And I will see you guys in the next video.